The Replacement. The Sodor Diesel Works are always buzzing with activity. Diesels are always rushing in and out of the works getting parts replaced. Den and Dart are very good at managing their workload, and they know all the diesels very well. However, some diesels are there more often than others, and this can cause Den and Dart to be worried. One day, Den was shunting trucks when the yard manager walked up. Distress call, Den. Norman's stuck out on the main line. They've sent for another engine to take his train, but you need to bring him back here. <sighs> yes, sir. Uh... Norman is a diesel who works all over the island doing odd jobs. He delivers fuel from the mainland, he shunts trucks at various yards, and he takes workmen to repair various machinery around the railway. He is a very smart engine, and likes having his driver read books to him when he is resting, or, as the case may be, broken down. However, his engine often causes problems for him. Ever since he arrived on the island, Norman had constantly had to visit the diesel works for maintenance. In that time, he had become good friends with Den and Dart. However, his visits were very frequent, and his friends began to grow concerned. Salutations, Den! <laughs> oh, what's the problem this time, Norman? What do you think it was? It was my engine. It's never worked right, and you know it. <sighs> Old piece of rubbish. It's going to finally give out on me soon. Funny, that's what Sir Tom Hat would say about you! <laughs> Cheer up, Norm. We'll have you fixed soon enough, and then you can go back to being useful. You're like that, won't you? Norman sat silently as the men worked hard on his engine. Hammers banged and wrenches turned, but Norman began to grow very bored. The fact that Dan and Dart were busy meant he had no one to talk to. That night, Norman was especially tired, and as a result, he fell asleep earlier than usual. I'm positively debilitated. <sighs> the replacement should be here in a few days. Norman can work until then. Replacement? Of course, sir. Do you uh, want us to tell him? Not yet. Not until I've signed the order. I've been considering this for a while. All right, have a pleasant day, Mr. Wrenchmore. Likewise, sir. I'm going to be replaced. I'm a gunner. I declare I'm doomed. Doomed! Norman's repairs were completed, so he headed out to fetch some oil from the mainland. He arrived at Barrow Station, where his tankers were waiting for him. As he backed onto a siding to wait for another train to pass, he noticed something on the other side of the yard. Uh, pardon me, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, I was wondering if you could bestow me with the information as to where those wagons over there are bound. Another engine was supposed to come and take these down to the shipping company at Brenham today, but no one's come yet. We need them delivered before the day's out, or the shipping company will complain. May I offer my services in this endeavor? I'm bound for Brenham anyhow, it's one of the stops on my fuel run. A few extra trucks would certainly be no difficulty. The foreman agreed, and Norman excitedly coupled the trucks up to the end of his train. This is sure to prove Sir Tom had wrong. I'm valuable! Norman revved his engine into life, and started off for Brendam. Norman's trucks rattled behind him as he rolled along the line. They were much heavier than his normal load, but he struggled on nonetheless. Once Sir Tom Hat sees me pulling loads outside my <coughs> average capabilities, he's sure to see how much of an asset I am. Oh, curses! A signal! I'm sure to be tardy now! Down the line, Scruff was pushing some wagons full of rubbish from the nearby town. They were especially heavy, and Scruff was in a hurry not to be late. However, he was in such a hurry that he didn't notice his trucks were uncoupled. He rolled over the hill and lost control as the trucks rolled down the other side. Oh no! Filthy, disgusting, unclean! Oh. Uh, sorry, Norman. Lost control of my trucks on the hill. Do you want me to help clean you off? Under normal circumstances, Norman would have agreed in a heartbeat. But he couldn't be late. Not today. No, thank you, Scruff. I have a schedule to uphold. No time to dally around. What a strange diesel. 
Norman approached the docks in record time, and he was very proud of himself. Ouch! Present! Right on time! Keep your bullets on, Norman. You're ten minutes early. Make yourself useful and shoot those trucks into their proper sidings. <laughs> Ignoramus. Whoa! What's that stink? Jeez, Norman, you reek! Get out of here before the entire yard smells you! Norman shuffled away, offended but satisfied. Early. <laughs> I'd like to see Sir Topham Hat try to replace me now. In fact, I'll go see him. <laughs> Clever Norman. However, Norman had forgotten about the rubbish. Ooh, what on earth is that stench? The smell of a really useful, completely irreplaceable engine, my friend. Norman, what's the meaning of... Oh! Did you want to speak with me, sir, about how up to par my work has been? We can talk later, Norman. Right now, I urge you to get a wash. You could have come through this station with a bag of fertiliser, and it wouldn't have smelt this bad. Oh, yes. <laughs> Apologies, sir. <laughs> Finally! This place needs an air freshener. Meanwhile, Norman was relaxing at the washdown. He felt very proud of the work that he had done. A job well done. He's sure to keep me on now. Uh, 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 what? N no, not now. <laughs> Please! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no! Uh, I'll get out our Steinbeck after all I've called for help. As Norman and his driver read Of Mice and Men, Den received the call that Norman was stranded once again at the washdown. <sighs> oh no. <sighs> Come on, Norman. This can't happen. Not now. Not after I've worked to my limits to prevent it. That sounds like exactly what the problem is. You overworked your engine. Should be a quick job, only a few hours. Yes? Alright, the replacement should be here in a few days. Perfect. Even after all my work, I was covered in garbage and he still wants to replace me? I guess I am completely useless. <laughs> completely and... <laughs> Meanwhile, James had finished his work for the day, and was eagerly looking forward to getting a good rest. Ah, uh, no more trains, no more shunting, just rest. Ah, what, what, what is it now? Hello, James! <laughs> what do you need? I need a load of ballast taking down to Vickerstown, so I'll need you to go down to Arlesborough Junction and collect the train. But sir, I just finished my work. Can't Norm and one of the other diesels do it? They're dirty. They like trucks. Really useful engines don't argue, James. James collected his train. He then set off with the trucks trundling right behind. The trucks decided to have some fun and bump James along the way. Hey! Stop that! On! 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 <laughs> <laughs> Help! At the diesel works, Norman's repairs were completed, and he was sadly shunting trucks into various sidings. Hey, Norm. You alright? Do I look alright? Shunting these trucks is like being on death row. So Topham Hat is getting rid of me. I attempted to prove that I was irreplaceable. <laughs> Fat lot that did. I pulled extra trains, I was early, but I was still just some kind of... Levin. <sighs> Norman, if it makes you feel better, I think you're irreplaceable. Way to bestow upon me exactly what I wish to hear, Dan. <laughs> Norman, I mean it. You bring our fuel from the mainland. Without fuel, not a diesel on Sodor would be running. 
And same deal with the shunting. You shunt trucks in every yard on this railway. If you didn't, everywhere would be a mess. Now without you bringing workmen to the machinery, we wouldn't have working signals or anything. You're absolutely irreplaceable. And so what if you're a little faulty? You still get the job done. You're right. I'll prove it again. Even when I'm down and out, I can still make a comeback. That's my norm. Always striving to be useful. Ah, get out the way, Trevor! Oh no! You made it in one piece again there, Stella. Thank gosh for that. Well, we haven't crashed, James, but you've damaged your brakes. We can't keep going now. We'll need another engine to take our train. But I'll be stuck here for hours. Have you seen how busy everyone is? Not much we can do, James. I'll go back and call for help. James is stranded down the line with our ballast. His brakes failed and he can't start off again. I need an engine to go down there and take the train from him. <laughs> I'd be happy to offer my services, sir. I am freshly repaired and eager to prove my worth. A steam engine with an ego and a couple of ballast trucks should be absolutely no issue. Alright, Norm. Off you go. Be careful and don't strain yourself. This shall be my swan song. If I'm being replaced, I'll make them regret it. Replaced? Norman, what are you doing here? I need an engine, not a broken down toolbox. Clever, insulting my colour and my shape. Allow me to take part in this sort of verbal jousting. From far away, you somewhat resemble a sausage on wheels. <laughs> now we haven't time to chat. We have a train to pull. Oh, sorry, I have a train to pull. Just try and keep this as minimally difficult as possible. Keep your brakes off and we should be smooth sailing. Norman coasted down the main line. The trucks were exhausted from their previous runaway and as a result gave him a nice smooth ride. James trundled along behind him, silent in his brooding. Norman loved every moment of the ride. He had never felt more powerful in his life. What a finale! The underdog comes back just before his final fate and shows them all. But alas, it seems the Fat Controller's decision is made. Do you think Sir Topham Hatt is sending you away? Seeing as there's no evidence to the contrary, I'd say it's much more likely than not. I've had various exchanges that suggest he has already acquired a replacement for me. Well, that doesn't sound like Sir Topham Hatt. Maybe you were just hearing it out of context. <sighs> Seems too good to be true. I thank you for the thought. <laughs> I know, Sir Topham Hat. You'll see. I'm sure there's just a huge misunderstanding. I'm sure of it. Uh, but... Uh, thank you for helping me out, by the way. I've been a bit rude to you, and you still help me out of a jam. Is that a bit of respect in there, Sausage? <laughs> I guess it is, Toolbox. Norman, thank you for rescuing James. You are a really useful, irreplaceable engine. Irreplaceable, sir? Ha! <laughs> I don't know where you got this being replaced business from, but you are absolutely a valuable member of this railway. All my engines are. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. I won't let you down for a moment, sir. I... <laughs> If you're not planning on replacing me, then what was all that business about the replacement you were talking about on the telephone? <laughs> the replacement is for your engine, Norman. I brought a new engine for you to have put in place once this workload calms down. I have no intention of replacing you at all, Norman. I'm giving you a stronger... More reliable engine so you can be as really useful as you want to be. By the way, I haven't forgotten how you stopped a nasty accident with all those ballast trucks. 
The vicar called me up to tell me about it. Expect a new coat of paint while your brakes are repaired, eh? After a few months, Norman returned to work. His engine allowed him to get more jobs done than ever before, and he was twice as efficient. Clear a path! Important train on the way! Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever seen anything like it? That's Norm for you! Always taking pride in his work. Norman still breaks down sometimes, all engines do, but he still knows that he is a valuable part of the Northwestern Railway, just as everyone is, especially with his replacement to help him.